Now YouTubers, today we're going to talk about how to put jump leads on a car correctly. Now there's a couple of things to be aware of, uh, depending on your car. The newer cars kind of like, well, depends on the car, but anywhere from 06, normally about 08 upwards, they can have what's called CAN bus wiring. And some of them just take a slightly different sort of jump lead. Some of the newer cars again have fibre octave wires, which again you need slightly different jump leads with uh, special protection in. But what we're doing today is a 01 Toyota, sorry, 91 Toyota, and a 02 Mondeo. So we can just use basically ordinary leads. We're using the diesel car to start the petrol car. If you have a diesel car, it's normally better because the alternating absolutely everything is bigger. So, and the battery is bigger, the amp and the battery is bigger, so take off the old cover. Now, what we're doing is both cars are turned off, as you, you can't hear anything on. Um, now, people would say, you know, it's best to leave them, leave them off. To be honest, on the older cars, you can maybe get a spike, but I've never, ever got it. So I'm just going to do it this way. Best thing to do is put the power one on first. Doesn't really matter which car you put it on, just put the power one on first. And we'll do that on this one as well. So that's that. Now if you can, it's actually best to earth the engine. As you can see, here's the engine. Rather than putting it on the battery, which is over there, I'm gonna put it on the earth. Well, I'm gonna put it on the lifting eye of the engine. It just goes into it better, as you can see there. Now I'm gonna get this side here. Now, my car's obviously got covers and stuff on, so can't be asked to rip all that off, but basically do the same thing. I'm just going to put this on the battery this time. Right, so just a quick cap. Make sure you have the right leads for the car. Put the power on first. If you can, put the earth onto the engine, onto obviously a metal part of the engine. Don't put it onto engine mounts and stuff because they have rubbers on each side so they won't connect properly. Put it on the other car, more or less the same way if you can. Then start the car, obviously that starts. So. We'll go around and we'll start the car. And global business support. Now, simple as that. Sorry about the old shaky camera. So what we're gonna do this battery happens to be really flat on the crawler, on the camera even. So I'm just gonna leave it here ticking over for a few minutes and after a few minutes we'll pop back and we'll see what happens. Another good thing to do is on the vehicle you're starting, just make sure nothing's turned on inside. Like the fan, turn the fan off. If the radio is on, turn the radio off. Make sure there's no lights on the top. Make sure nothing's on. Now you get some people revving the car that's starting. There's no need to rev your car. The alternator doesn't go off the revs of your car. If your car is ticking over or at 4,000 RPM, the alternator is still putting the same amount of volts through it. So you don't need to be sitting there revving your car. Just let it tick over. Let it tick over like I'm doing. And it will basically charge it. I'm just gonna leave this on for a few minutes and then uh, we'll be back to see what happens. Now YouTubers, I've left this ticking over for a few minutes. Um, I just turned off the car so you can hear me talk. Normally you wouldn't really do that. So hopefully this thing will now start. And then we can do a few more checks to see. Now, there we go. As you can see, that's how you put jump leads on. Simple as. And take them off, take the power off first. Just quickly show you. That's what you want to do. Just take the power off first. And the best thing to do is when you put the power Keep it well away from the earth, so as you can see here's the earth, because it's still connected to the car and the last thing you want to do is it, it, for it to cross. It's as simple as that. Look, I hope you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, and don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one.